right, hello music fam. Sorry, at that moment I got a hair in my eye. <laughs> Always getting hairs in my eyes. How are you doing? We just have a little bit of time together today. Um, let me just plug you in really quickly. Whoops, I'm gonna try and not fall off my chair. Oh, okay. How are you doing? Are you okay out there in the world? <laughs> we are going to just take a couple minutes today to talk about rhythm because rhythm is quite challenging for a lot of us. And um, I'm going to just put this little heating pad on my shoulders because they're just feeling a little bit tight today. So, hey guys, thanks for joining. <laughs> so first of all, gotta have a sip, a kip, a sip of tea. <laughs> oh my gosh, words. So a sip of tea. Hey John, hey you guys. I'm having some PG tips today with a little bit of cream. I always have it with cream. <laughs> and as you know, we've got this magical little, the PG tips tea, yes. <laughs> I've made this little um, essential oil thing for lessons and it's just lavender and frankincense and ylang ylang and it smells really nice so I like have people put this on if they want before their lesson so I'm gonna put some on for us and it just kind of is gonna put us right in violin mode and we're gonna just forget about the world for a little bit oh it smells really nice we got to pull a little thought for the day <laughs> so let's pull a little thought for our little lesson today and we're gonna talk about rhythm so let's see these are just my fun little affirmation cards. It's another thing before lessons. Gotta pull a little, oop, little thought for the day. Let's see. Um, we get this all the time. Hi, Angel. <laughs> we get the follow your heart card. I feel like this one, this is like a really awesome one to come up. These come up all the time. So it's a heart on a surfboard holding an umbrella. I, I swear that we got this one either last time or the time before. But it says, I'm always rewarded when I follow my heart. I trust that the GPS in my heart knows all the best routes. And when it seems like it's taking too long to get where I want, I know that's because there's some cool, weird stuff to see along the way. So, hi, thanks for joining. Anyway, so follow your heart, you guys. It's the best way. And we are going to just spend a few minutes together. I'm running a little bit late today. I have lessons in a probably like 15 minutes to get to. So we are going to be using our trusty friend, the metronome. And um, we're gonna just kind of try to have some time together to um, practice feeling rhythms. So I'm gonna put the metronome at 60 and it's on a zero. Um, and this side over here is a tuner, so let's not worry about that. Um, so I'm gonna just turn it on. Hopefully you can hear that. Okay, so um, one, two, three, four. So this right here, we could just decide this is an eighth note. We could decide it's a sixteenth note. We could decide that it's a quarter note. We could decide it's a half note, whatever we want. But we do have to decide what we're beating. So let's decide that it's a quarter note, right? That would be kind of like four, four time. Four quarter notes in a measure. One, two, three, four, right? And um, when you're in four, you have like certain emphases, emphases <laughs> on certain beats. So for example, one, two, three, four. It's not one, two, three, four, unless it's specified that way, but typically you would feel one, two, three, four. And sometimes, depending on the phrase, there's kind of like a longer phrase. So you would just feel, for example, one, two, three, four, one. So the kind of one is the one that's emphasized. And you can feel two bar phrases. So that would be like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So that would be kind of like a two bar phrase, for example. It's kind of a slow tempo to feel, feel a two bar phrase in. My eyes are really unhappy looking today. I'm so sorry. 
I promise you, I, I have not been crying my eyes out today. It's just, I think it's just maybe the allergies or dust or something. So within that, let's decide this is a quarter note. We have to feel how to subdivide. So within this B, there's also eighth notes. Eighth notes are just twice as fast. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And we count eighth notes one and two and three and four and because there's two syllables that we need, we need to know where the beat is one and then the and is just that second syllable. So one and two and three and four and after that, typically, you have like 16th notes, for example, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 16th notes are usually grouped in fours. So we need four syllables, one E and a, uh, one E and a, uh, kind of rolls off the tongue, at least in English. One E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, four E and a. Uh. And they should all be nice and even. I don't know if that was very even. <laughs> but you can kind of pulse the first one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then you've got um, triplets, for example, that's three in a beat. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So often triplets can be a little bit confusing. Um, but for example, like when you play a lot of fiddle music, that's in six, eight, which would be kind of six, eighth notes, six, eight, six, eighth notes in a measure, for example, and you would divide them into groups of three. So you kind of have two big beats. One, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, and six, eight, for example. Yeah, the Irish washwoman. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is. This is kind of the cluster of three triplets we're trying to visualize. <laughs> Okay, so the tricky thing sometimes can come in when you have like rhythms you're not really familiar with or like juggling multiple rhythms. So for example, if you had like eighth notes and then you had triplets, so juggling one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, that can be kind of tricky sometimes. But the thing that you have to stay consistent about, do you like my dance, <laughs> is feeling that beat. One, two, one, two, three, one, two. Because you could also put some 16th notes in there, for example. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Um, and then, for example, sometimes you might run into six that need to fit in a beat. There'd be like a bunch of notes and then a little six underneath it telling you that you need to fit them all within that. Or eight is another common one. So you would just need to think one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Or you can just think one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, da, 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 da. So, but it has that triplety feel. When you have six, you're in two groups of three. You don't typically feel two, like you don't typically feel three groups of two, one, two, one, two, one, two. It's one, two, three, one, two, three. It kind of just feels a bit better that way, usually. Although maybe you'll run into something that feels it in groups of two. Um, and then eight. So one, two, three, four, 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 da, 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 da. So just kind of being able to subdivide things like that. So I'm gonna turn the metronome off for a second. I have to go really soon, you guys. This was just a really quick little hello. <laughs> um, there was one thing. So when you're playing, let's say, let's just kind of visualize a measure. Excuse me. Um, and you have like the smallest rhythm is in 16th notes. I don't have time, I'm so sorry. Next time I'll play something. Um, I'm actually working on all of the Sarah bands kind of in um, box cello suite, so I'll just, I'll play one of those next time. Um, so, uh, okay, so when you're looking at music, you need to be able to subdivide in the smallest rhythm. So let's say we have a measure, and within that one measure, you've got like two 16th notes. Right? So you've got quarter note, quarter note, eighth note, and two sixteenth notes. So you have to figure out how fast those sixteenth notes are. So for example, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, eighth note, and two sixteenth notes. So you could think one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, for example. Um, you could subdivide it that way. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So you always need to subdivide in the smallest um, rhythm that you have because you need to know how that tiny fast rhythm fits with like the, the bigger beats. 
So that's what subdivision is. Um, you always try to find that smallest one. And you, within that, you need to keep the tempo, keep that beat. Okay, so I'm gonna love and leave you guys. Remember to follow your heart. And I will see you next Wednesday or next Thursday. We're kind of having our little get togethers on Wednesdays or Thursdays. So um, yeah, we're going to be, we are, I have this little series at the moment, I guess. Let me see if I can find this book where we are um, kind of like learning a song from, what is it? It's the 100 Classical Themes book. I think it just comes for the violin. So I'm kind of teaching you the song from these every week. If you want to pick up this book next week, we'll be playing something from here. And um, I was considering um, starting like a little Patreon or something. If you ever, want, if you felt compelled to kind of donate a couple dollars for our little um, lesson times, but I don't know. I kind of feel weird about it. We'll see. Um, but I hope you're all doing well. I lo lots of love your way, and I'll see you next week. Okay, <laughs> bye.